hi, hello, my name is Savannah, and you guessed it, we're back today with another Planet Zoo screenshot reveal because the Arid Animal Pack comes in only a matter of days. And today we got a new look at the African Crested Porcupine. Now this is not an animal that we have not seen before. We definitely got a look at it at this screenshot that you're looking at right now actually came from the announcement trailer. So at the very announcement, we got a good look at this little guy. In addition to moving on to our next one, we got this screenshot revealed on Steam the same time as the announcement trailer with a few porcupines sitting around and that cute little baby up on top of the rock. I was instantaneously impressed with how the model looks and all the quills and the fur. However, was blown away. If we go take a look at the screenshot that was revealed today, this has so much detail in it. You really get to see all the detail of the individual fur on the top of the body and the head, and then each individual quill. I think that this animal, at least from my perspective, might have been one of the hardest animals for them to model and do all the textures with and everything. I know nothing about programming videos, but I just imagine that all those quills took a really, really long time. And I'm really interested to see how they behave in the game. Obviously, I don't think any of them are gonna move individually, but I'm wondering if they have just a little bit of variation to them. So it's not like it just moves as one solid object on its body. Although when you watch them walk around, they do kind of move in that way where they kind of move as like one entity and they sway with the animal's hips as they walk around. So I'm just curious to see how well they'll be able to mimic that when the animal is walking around in its uh, exhibit. Other than that, in this screenshot, I'm going to do it again. I haven't done it with any of the screenshots thus far, but this one, those white flowers on that bush on the right hand side is that new? Because now that I'm looking at this screenshot, I'm feeling like that's a new plant. <laughs> and like I said in my previous videos, every time we get new screenshots for new DLC, I find myself not realizing what foliage we already have in the game. And maybe it's just a plant that I never used before, but I saw it and I thought maybe that it looks new. I don't know. You guys are going to probably know better than I am. So do let me know down in the comment section below what you think of that that little flowering plant. There's another one way in the background, just behind kind of the front portion of quills on the porcupine. Um, and I, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's new or not. If it's new, great. It looks awesome. If it's old and already there, great. It looks awesome. So either way, great. Uh, before we go, let's talk a little bit about our porcupine friend, just to get a little information about them. The African Crested Porcupine is the largest porcupine in the world. It lives in hilly, rocky habitats in Sub-Saharan Africa, North Africa, and Italy. The sharp, sturdy quills of the African Crested Porcupine give it highly effective protection against predators. Its body is covered with coarse quills 1 to 13 inches long and varying in thickness. Its most heavy armed area is its hindquarters, which have short, thick quills. And that's because obviously predators are going to try to sneak up from behind and so it needs a lot of protection in that area. When it is confronted by a predator, the African Crested Porcupine raises the 12 to 13 inch quills along its head and back into a crest so its body appears larger and more threatening. If this strategy doesn't chase the predator off, the porcupine stamps its feet, clicks its teeth, and rattles its hollow tipped tail quills. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to be an animation in the game, you think? Stomping feet and raising it, it raising its quills absolutely has to be, right? If, if porcupines are, I don't know, if they're fighting each other or if you put a predator in there, I'm really curious to see if that was implemented and I'll have to test that out as soon as I get my hands on the game. If it fails, it runs backwards and rams the attacker with short, thick, quills on the backside. The tip of its quills lodge into the enemy's skin and the resulting wounds can disable or even kill the predator. Porcupines have been known to injure lions, leopards, hyenas, and even humans. 
African crested porcupines eat uh, tubers, bark, bulbs, fallen fruit, and cultivated root crops. They are nocturnal and forage alone at night, traveling up to nine miles in search of their food. They return to the den and rest during the day. Though they forage alone, they live in small family groups made up of an adult pair and their young, both infants and juveniles. They develop elaborate burrows to house this family group. African crested porcupines are monogamous. I didn't know that. Mating in a thorny challenge because of the spines and quills of the two participants. Females usually have a litter, uh, one litter per year after pregnancy lasting about 112 days. One of the four offspring called porcupets aw, are born in a separate grass line birth chamber within the burrow system. The porcupine, porcupets, excuse me, are born with open eyes and developed teeth, though the quills on their backs are soft. That's good for the mother, obviously. They leave the den about a week later, just as their quills begin to harden. Very cool. So that's a little bit about our African crested porcupine. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We only have what, four more days to wait for the arid animal pack? And I'm so excited. So let me know what you think. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, all that fun YouTuber stuff. And I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.